Well, hello folks, my name's Ian and welcome to me shed. And welcome back, part two of my helium bottle piggy bank build. Uh, the video, when I edited it all, was all well over 45 minutes and I thought I had to split it up. I didn't want to bore you all too, uh, too much. First part, we uh, we built the pig. We spent a lot of time on the eye. <sighs> yeah, so now I'm going to uh, look at the legs. The legs are made out of this tube. Uh, it's going to be sharp. It's quite thin. I need a way of so it don't won't be scratching any surface that it's been put on. I'll also be looking at some money. Uh, the way to put the money in and the way to get the money out. So, uh, enjoy the rest of this build. Thank you. Impressed, I say so myself. That's purely an interference fit. Uh, right. He's got sharp cut off ends. I don't know whether this is going to be kept on a, on, on a wooden countertop or not. If it is, it's going to be. Give it some serious scratches. However, in my last video, you'll see I was looking for a tub. Spent a day and a half reorganising my shed just so I could find this tub. Unlike uh, Bert from Brutus Metal Arts, he made a, he's just recently made a Vespa. Okay, so he walks into his shed and he just looks at his shelf and he pulls out the, what he wants. And then he needs a set of springs and he pulls out what he wants. And he needs something else. And he, I ain't quite as organised as Bert. Right, however, I do know what I do have. And I know I've never thrown anything away. Whatever. Whenever. So, uh, so I need to protect, I need to put something on there. Now, my original thought was to, uh, under there, believe it or not, is a wood lathe. You can see it, just about see it there with a the chunk. Remove everything and turn some wooden feet. But nah, come on, Ian. You've never thrown a plastic bung away in your life. So I dug that plastic bung tray out, which is this, which you saw in the last video. And all I have got to do is Oh dear. Tip everything out and find Four things that will sort that out. Like, yeah, well, yeah, like, like what? Uh, new. New. There must be something in here. No. Oh. Well, I like that. Oh, I like that indeed. Well, if there's one, there must be more. Well, I need four. I'm wondering what these are. The the uh, they're off a bath, and the 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 leveling feet off a bath. Okay. A bath has four. So if I've kept two. Then I've kept four. And 
idea. That's four. That's one idea. But what I'm thinking, uh, there must be something else in here. It's got to be. Oh, a round bung. Shit, that's, that fell down there. I'm going to do some searching. We're thinning this lot down and uh, we're coming across things. But at the same time, I'm having out other ideas. And you see these with the... Uh, kind of little slot in there oh there's another one excuse me one two three four right i'll explain them in a minute let me carry on searching okay got a selection of stuff together i've got these bungs which are too slack. I've got these bass feet, which uh, you can see are quite adjustable, but are a good fit. Look at that. To make those fit that, I need to cut a piece of flat with an all in either well a nut on the other side or tap this but well the nut on the other side as that then I would end up with something like that which I could weld in there at a certain depth and then screw the uh, whole assembly in like that. But I would have to make certain that that hole was directly in the centre. Or, I know I cut this tube from that tube, so I could cut a piece off, take my bung, too slack. I could cut a piece of that tube off the, the. I could make a slit in it until it was a tight fit in there. Then that bung. Would be a tight fit in there. And that would fit in there nicely. All I would need to do is to tack that insert in there. Ah, decisions, decisions. Which is the easiest? Well, after some cogitating and decision making, I decided, well, that was an easy method, but uh, I'd have to make sure that that hole was central to that diameter. So I'm going to uh, go for the other method, which is Cut a slice of that off, shorten it so it fits inside of there, like that, and then I know that that will fit inside of there. So we're going to go that route, which means we uh, tippy tap it.
sleeves in position and we uh, tack them in just like that. Well, I went into the wife's purse and I borrowed some money. So, uh, by far our two pound coin uh, is our largest coin. So whatever hole I need to put in uh, the base, in, in, in somewhere in the pig to get the money out, it has to be big enough to get that out. Uh, so I've got some measurements for that. Okay, I will be, uh, I've got some, I made a pig planter once out of, out of a helium bottle. So I'll be practicing on here, uh, making holes without the proper equipment, uh, but I'll get it. I'll, I'll prove I can do it once. I can, I can do it again. So uh, let's proceed. Hmm. Well, I practiced on some uh, scrap steel. Uh, that's a raggedy rough ass one, isn't it? Uh, that's because I've not got a cone drill. And don't try it with an old uh, mill milling bit either in your drill. That, that, that doesn't work. So... I went back to what I did with the eye and used a variety of uh, stones in my drill and I managed to get a nice round circle. Amongst that lot, I found this. It's big enough that a two pound coin will fall through so I can get the money off. And this particular bung, is a nice fit so that's what we're going to use and it gives you a little bit of a something to to pull on to get it out so they can get the money out so I've got to find all the make it all like that, and uh, put that in hey little biggie Okay, uh, well, you can tell we've got the ears on. We've got a bung in the bottom. Need somewhere to put the money in. I reckon uh, where I put that blue marker, just be, just be, nah, needs to be a little bit further over. About the at its centre of there, I think. Yeah, that'll do. I'll move it over a little bit. Stick that in there. Absolutely sure that that is in line. So, how am I going to do that? Because according to that line, it's a little bit off centre. So, how am I going to do that? I'll stick that in there and uh, do something like that. I don't know. Hmm. Or to be an engineer. Mert one eyeball. I think. Mert one eyeball. Tends to be pretty accurate, your eyeballs. 
Yeah. That'll do. It's gonna have to do, innit? Pretty multi in line. Right, I've got to uh, join those two lines up, haven't I? Can't do it with that. I need something flat. And I think it's a case for the Dremel. Mm, not like that. Over. Come on, Ian. Shape up. Oh, yeah. I nearly swore. How can you draw a straight line and then go right off at an angle like that? You see that? There we go. Right, I'm going to join them up. Proper draw file technique. You know, there is the danger if I put this two pound coin in here, I might not be able to get it out. <laughs> it's a better freaking work. Come on, piggy. Pair it with my money. Yes. Right, we just give that a little bit of a rough up before paint. Well, she's done. Burr, paint. Ah, uh, some primer. Tell you what, I'm I'm impressed myself with that little eye. Let's paint. In my haste to finish off, I'm, uh, I haven't put a tail on it. Hey, anyway, so unlike Brutus Metal Arts. Burke can just go to a shelf and pull off a tub of whatever of music, cuttle, wrist, springs, etc., gears, cogs. Uh, man are buried, so man are buried behind the. <laughs> there we go, that didn't take too long, did it? Only about an hour. Oh, time to find a spring. <laughs> I've got to put everything back now. Uh, first we find a spring. Right, you see, normally, uh, for my pig bills, my pig planter bills, I would take something of this, like, uh, very uh, ductile, it's about six milli steel, and I would, see, cause, as you can see, it's, it's easily uh, manipulated. And I'd, I'd form a... A curly tail but it would end on a point 
this being for a, a little girl, uh, a small child, I don't really want it to end on a point. So a spring, I think is the next thing, find the right one. Now I can find one that's like that, where the ends are, well, been formed flush. Then I'm in business. But that one's a bit big. Oh, that's more like it. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe not. I think that'll do. That one. Oh, I'll have a, I'll, I'll have a run through and decide. A bit more root in a boat, and I think that that one is is more suitable. It's kind of like tapered at one end, tapered at one end. So, whereas that one's a bit bigger. One of those two, I think. matching colour so there we go one uh, first coat pink painted piggy bank uh, I'm still impressed at how I copied that eye slot little tail and a hole a bung in the hole to get the money out all I've got to do now is to bang the uh, Defeating. Oh, so there we go. Piggy Bill finished. Time to get on back to some scrapping. Right, now, I uh, I could have made that job a lot easier. Uh, if I had the right tools. But it was fun doing it. And that's, 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 that's the biggest part of it, isn't it? You know, have fun doing what you're doing. Right, now, I said earlier on, I'd addressed the cone drill issue at the end. And I've been toying with this idea. I've always put it off. I just never felt comfortable doing it. But a lot of other YouTubers, they all seem to have this Amazon wish list at the end. So I might, maybe, sometime in the future, whenever, or even on this one, if I can figure out how to do it, Join this, put this Amazon wish list thing in the description and if anyone wants to make my life a little easier, you can send me a cone drill. <laughs> or a thousand other, like, uh, burrs and stones that can go in a drill. I, I got there in the end. Right. Like I say, I think it's back to doing some scrapping. Because I can't keep having to move everything just to get at the things I want. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that build. Uh, my name's Ian, and uh, you're always welcome to be shed. Good night.